subscribe to my YouTube channel Passionate Piping Engineer and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification of the upcoming videos. Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Passionate Piping Engineer. In this video, we will learn about the type of the flanges. This is the first video of the flange series videos in which the classification is based on pipe attachments. Types of the flanges based on pipe attachments. Pipe attachments with flanges means how the flanges is fitted or connected to the pipe means if it is going to be welded or threaded and if it is welded then which type of the weld but welded or socket welded the type of the flanges to be used for a piping application depends mainly on the required strength of the joint that is flange joint standard type of the flanges based on the pipe attachments are weld neck flange slip on flange socket welded flange threaded flange lap joint flange long weld neck flange and blind flange let us encounter all this type one by one in brief the first type of the flange we have in our list is weld neck flange. A weld neck flange is referred to as a tapered half flange that can be welded with a pipe or any butt welded or bevel ended fittings. Weld neck flanges are bored to match the inside diameter of the adjoining pipe. In other words, we can say the thinner the thickness of the pipe, the larger the pipe, the smaller the bore. That is, the inside diameter of the flanges is machined so as to match the inside diameter of the pipe. The dimension of the flange, NPS and pipe schedule shall match the dimension of the connecting pipe. Because of this matching ID, there is no restriction of the flow. Therefore, the turbulence and erosion are eliminated. Weld neck flanges are the type of flange that is used in large bore sizes that is about 2 inch NPS and in the severe services application that is high pressure and high or low temperature services that requires an unrestricted flow of the fluid conveyed by the piping system. Weld neck flanges are installed by welding the pipe to the neck that is the hub of the flange as we can see in the cross sectional view. This allows the transfer of the stress from the flange to the pipe itself type of the flange in our list is slip-on flange. A slip-on flange is connected to the pipe or fittings by two fillet welds. One weld is executed inside as you can see in the figure and the other outside the cavity of the flange to provide sufficient strength and prevent leakage. The pipe is set back from the face of the flange at a distance equal to the wall thickness plus 1 by 16 inch. Slip-on flange is manufactured with an inside diameter that is slightly bigger than the pipe's OD so that they can slip over the pipe. Although the calculated strength for a slip-on flange under internal pressure is of an order of one-third to that of the weld neck flange and the life is also one-third of the weld neck flange. When it comes to the combination of flanges and elbows or flange and T is not possible here because fittings like elbows T's have no straight ends that complete the slide of the slip-on flange. It can be used with long tangent elbows, reducers, etc. But it is not unusual or general practice. They are preferred or used in low pressure and low temperature, low temperature up to 200 degrees Celsius applications and in non-cyclic conditions. The third type of the flange in our list is socket welded flange. Socket welded flanges are connected to the pipe using a single fillet weld executed on the outer side of the flange. According to ASME B31.3, like all socket welded fittings, the pipe is first inserted in the socket of the flange until it reaches the bottom of the flange. Then it should be lifted by 1.5 mm and finally welded, that is fillet welded. In this manner, we can obtain the flanges connection using a socket welded flange. Remember one thing, only plane end pipes can be used with socket welded flanges and fittings. Socket welded flanges are used for small bore pipes sizes up to 2 inch NPS but can be used up to 4 inch NPS as per availability in ASME B16.5 standards or on client requirements and used in high pressure piping that do not transfer corrosive fluid that is in high pressure non-corrosive fluids. This is because they can be subjected to corrosion in the gap area of 1.5 mm between the end of the pipe and the shoulder of the socket as we can see in the figure. Although the socket welted flanges are similar to slip on flanges, their static strength is equal to the slip on flanges, but the fatigue strength is 50% greater than the double welded slip on flange. The fourth type of the flange in our list is threaded flange. Threaded flange is similar to the slip on flange, but here the bore is threaded. Threaded flanges are joined to the pipe by screwing the pipe, which has a male threads or external threads on its generally, not as per ASME B1.20.1, onto the flange. So the main value of the threaded flange is that it can be assembled with the pipe or nipples without welding. This feature of being assembled without welding makes threaded flange well suited in explosive areas such as gas stations and to extreme pressure services that operate at normal atmospheric temperature or where welding connection in such environments should be dangerous. 
A seal weld is sometimes applied around the threaded joint to reduce the possibility of leakage, but this is only for non explosive or non hazardous, that is, non dangerous areas. Threaded flanges are available in sizes up to 4 inch NPS and multiple pressure ratings. Threaded flanges are mostly used in small bore size, that is, up to 1.5 inch NPS, in low pressure and low temperature applications like water, air, and utility services. The fifth type of the flange in our list is lap joint flange. When we think about the lap joint, the first thing comes in our mind is an overlap joint in which the two members are overlapped on one another. Yes, exactly the same thing is done in lap joint flange as shown in the cross sectional view of the lap joint flange and in the pictorial view also. Lap joint flanges, also known as the backing flange, slides directly on the pipe and are used with stub end fittings. This means lap joint flanges consist of two parts. First is stub end, which is directly welded to the pipe by means of a butt weld, and second is a loose backing flange, which freely moves or slides over the pipe and is bolted to the same mating flange. This backing flange can be of the different material to that of the stub end. Usually these are of carbon steel to save the material cost of the joint when the pipe specification is of stainless steel and alloy steel. But the dimension of these flanges are similar to slip-on, weld neck or socket welded flanges and have similar number of volts. The major advantage of this type of the flanges are there is no issue of volt alignments. This type of the flanges are used for application that require frequent dismantling type of the flange in our list is long weld neck flange. Long weld neck flange are similar to that of the weld neck flanges except that the neck or hub is tapered hub that is, is extended and acts like a boring extension as shown in the figure. This long neck guides the pipe into the flange itself and provides reinforcement that the standard weld neck flange does not give. Long weld neck flanges are generally used on the vessels columns as the connecting flange to the nozzles. These flanges are used in high pressure and high temperature services and environments. The seventh and the last type of the flange in our list is blind flange. The blind flange is a flange which does not have a hub or board center. That is, it is a solid flange as shown in the cross sectional view or the pictorial view. Blind flanges have the face thickness matching face type and similar bolt pattern to that of the mating flanges, which can be any one of the previously studied six type that is well neck flange, slip on flange, etc. The purpose of using blind flange is to block the flow of the fluid in the pipe or to seal the opening of the spare nozzle of vessels. Blind flanges are widely used where the future expansion is needed, particularly on the utility lines of the pipe rack. They are also used to block the vents and drains in the process line. Blind flanges are bored or tapered by one blind flanges are bored or tapered by half inch NPS or 3 by 4 inch NPS to connect instrument indicators, etc. Blind flanges are mainly used for pressure testing the flow of the fluid through pipe or vessels. I hope you have understood the topic of this video as I have tried to explain all the flanges based on the pipe attachments. This video is first part of the types of flanges series. For other parts related to types of flanges, I have shared the link in the description box. Please go through it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the content of my video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And yes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel Passionate Piping Engineer. And also press the bell icon below to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos. Till then, stay tuned and take care.